There's never been a time I haven't felt driven to play and sing music. Sometimes in a horse race, you bet on a long shot. Well, James Reams may have been a long shot 20 years ago, but he's proven that he has the staying power to run with the thoroughbreds of bluegrass music, having been compared to Red Allen, Carter Stanley, and Lester Flatt. James' vocals capture that lonesome quality that's so much a part of bluegrass. For James, nothing but the best is acceptable. He goes all out for every performance, and it shows. Back in 1993, he put together James Reams and the Barnstormers. This band has held close to tradition while creating their own distinct sound. Known for their instrumental tightness, innovation, and original material, they are the odds-on favorite of many a bluegrass festival across the nation. James' passion is to continue to make all-out bluegrass music that adds to and builds on the beloved traditions of Jimmy Martin and Bill Monroe. Proving that he's here for the long haul, won't you put your hands together and welcome James Reams and the Barnstormers. Called the Whipper Bill, as the train pulls up to you. Listen close, and you can almost hear the blues. You can almost hear the blues in the rain pouring down. Lovely crack. As I walk away the time Heart breaks right to you Listen close And you can almost hear the Tonight's show is a good one, full of great picking and superb vocals. Originally from southeastern Kentucky, they play traditional bluegrass with an old-time edge and offer exciting, soulful performances with powerful three-part harmonies. On the Lincoln Theater stage in Marion, Virginia, we have James Reams and the Barnstormers. Freight train, we swap me out to 
working on a building dam for my Lord, for my Lord. Oh, yes, yes, it's a Holy Ghost building dam. It's a Holy Ghost building It's a Holy Ghost building for my Lord, for my Lord. I write and sing songs that have real meaning to me. Then I channel my passion and feelings into the song, and the band combines their style and skill to elevate the whole performance. I've written a lot of songs in the past 20 years, and I always try to bring the vocabulary of traditional bluegrass bands into the present time with the topics that are current, like environmental disasters, immigration, and struggles with poverty. Songs that appeal across all generations. At rehearsals, we sweat over the details of the material, then go to the studio with our arrangements and listen to each other in order to create our own sound and feel. To me, what I've always enjoyed about the music was the emotion evoked by Carter Stanley or Red Allen. That's all I ever dreamed of doing. This bluegrass band provides a contemporary take on traditional bluegrass, blending it with innovation and vitality to create their very own branch on the roots tree. 